on WFAA. Grassroots conservatives say House Speaker Dennis Bonin has to go. They are urging him to resign now, or they say Texas Republicans risk losing big in 2020. You know, Bonin only said he would not run for re-election after getting caught on a secret recording bashing fellow lawmakers, among other things. A few days ago, a coalition of grassroots conservatives met in Farmers Branch arguing that Bonin has become a liability. Here's what Joanne Fleming said from Grassroots America. If Dennis Bonin is left in place as speaker going into 2020, he becomes the poster child for Democrats pointing to the Republican Party and saying, this is the party of corruption in Texas. So let's begin with that question on the round table. Ross Budd and Bernadine Steptoe, Channel 8's political producer, are here. Ross, let's start with that question. Grassroots uh, conservatives say that Bonin will be a drag on the party in 2020. Are they wrong? I don't think that they're alone in the party. I think some of the people that aren't in that faction also believe the same thing. The question is, what do you do? He has said he'll get out of office. He won't run for office at the end of this term. Can you get him to leave early? If you can get him to leave early, can you replace him quietly and try to get this thing through without getting a lot of attention from voters. That's a big political question. Bud Ross raised two other questions there. Can you get him to leave quietly? And if so, how do you, how do, you do that? How, who do you replace him with? I don't think so. And I don't think it really matters. I don't think he's the one who's the drag. I think the Democrats will say this is the party of corruption, no matter whether he stays or goes, because Dennis Bonin wasn't, wasn't really the point. The point of trying to bring down Dennis Bonin for this group, they want to pass a law that says Texas outlaws and bans abortion, regardless of what the federal government says. They want to loosen gun laws, despite, you know, regardless of what the federal government says. They want to do all this and make Texas kind of its own little separate state. Bonin was in the way. That's why they had to get rid of it. Bernadine, how much will Bonin staying in office, how much will that help Democrats, if at all? I don't think it will help them at all because keep in mind, the National Democratic Party is saying that uh, President Trump's administration is corrupt. But I think that at this point, if the, Demo if the Republican Party is interested in winning in 2020, all factions need to come together. Because they already have, the, the National Democrats are already saying that it's the party of corruption. And, and Bud and Ross, you guys are hearing too that there might be some, some fractures after Michael Quinn Sullivan uh, releases tape. Well, I, I think the question is whether, even for conservatives, the question is do you want to be aligned with Michael Quinn Sullivan or not? In Tarrant County, which is the purple county that everyone says decides Texas, empower Texans is a much dirtier word than Dennis Bonner. Yes. yes. Ross, you were shaking your head a moment ago as well. Well, I think the Republican Party's fractious, and that was really exposed during the last race for speaker two years ago and into last year. We're about to enter the same process again and put an election on top of it. I think, you know, a lot of Republicans are worried about this. But and you, and also, a lot of uh, the voters were not paying attention to the drama going on in Austin. That's true. It's Nobody good. was oh. here. Nobody outside, but <laughs> real insider. And, and our viewers here as well, too. Ross, uh, you've got a poll about uh, this. Ross, let's talk uh, briefly about Tuesday's election day. Uh, how does all this end up? Proposition four, the big one on the ballot as well, too, talking about state income tax. Does, does any of this stuff lose? You know, I, I don't think so, but I will say a huge caveat. It's hard enough to predict a regular election. Elections <laughs> like this have such low turnout. You don't know who's going to show up, who's not going to show up. Um, I would hate to bet any real money on how anything's going to come out. But anything you're watching specifically on the ballot besides Prop 4? You know, the Education Democrats mounted a campaign against Prop 4. They're kind of in the too little, too late, kind of like their challenge to Dan Patrick. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. they just didn't do enough soon enough. We'll watch Tarrant County College bonds in Fort Worth. Five seconds left, Bernadine. Last words. I'm watching all of them, but I think they're all going to pass. I'll go out on a limb. <laughs> all right, good deal. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for watching as well. ABC's This Week begins in just a moment here on WFAA. We'll see you again next Sunday.